hi guys welcome and welcome back to my channel today we are going to be making authentic fried rice the nigerian way if you always have issue with your fried rice or it always tends to get spoiled quickly this recipe is for you and trust me you want to watch till the end so you can get a lot of information so to begin i would season the liver with some salt seasoning and pepper I just added a little bit of water to that then i would cook it then i would go ahead to season my chicken with some chicken seasoning curry powder thyme and then some salt after that i'm going to add in garlic paste and ginger paste as well i'm going to give this a very good mix and then you can let it marinate for about 30 minutes or thereabouts before you steam it but you can also steam it immediately if you don't have the luxury of time so i'll just cover this without water and let it cook then over to the liver at this point so it's roughly 15 to 20 minutes it was ready so i'll go ahead to chop that and then set aside after about 20 minutes the chicken had a lot of water in it as you can see i didn't add water to that so i went ahead to fry it with some oil vegetable oil to be precise if you want to cut down on calories you can go ahead to a fry the chicken or you can oven grill them if you want to okay but i really really love to make them this way this is the authentic nigerian party style fried rice so you need that oil <laughs> to fry the chicken so once you've seen that the other side of the chicken is properly brown you flip to the other side this should take about four to six minutes on each side just stand by so the chicken doesn't get burnt once it is ready you want to take that out and put in a plate or a tray that has kitchen napkin placed on it so it can soak out the excess oil if you follow the step you are going to get a very juicy chicken trust me so in a pot i would go in with some vegetable oil and then some onion i would just saute that for about three to four minutes then i would also add in some curry powder as well and then just let this fry so that it can bring out its beautiful flavor after that i would go in with my properly washed rice emphasis on properly washed so you want to wash the rice for about eight to 10 times just make sure you get all the starch out of it after that you want to make sure you stir fry the rice for about five to eight minutes until you see that the grains are standing apart just like mine that is when you know that the rice is ready after that i added in the chicken broth and water ensure that the liquid stop exactly where the rice is so you want to cover that properly and let it steam if need be you can add in a little bit more water i added in pepper as well and as you can see the broth it's very clean because i sieve it and i'll urge you to do same for yours so to some chicken breasts that have been tinily chopped i went in with some salt chicken seasoning and then some pepper as well i just gave that a good mix and then i let it marinate for about 30 minutes you can skip that if you don't have the luxury of time i also did same for the shrimp but i kept it simple i used just a little bit of salt and pepper as well so you want to just mix that as well and set aside so in my pan i went in with some vegetable oil and the chicken that has been marinating i went ahead to just let that cook on the other side then i flipped to the other as well and then just stir it when necessary just stand by so you can keep an eye on it after that i went ahead to fry the liver that has been chopped 
please ensure to fry the liver very well until it is like this so you don't ruin the taste of the fried rice so after that i also went ahead to pan fry the shrimp as well so i just spread that out and then when necessary i flipped to the other side please ensure you cook this on each side for about two to three minutes at most so you can get the juicy and delicious flavor out of the shrimp if you do otherwise you are likely to get a rubbery taste out of the shrimp and you don't want that for this so after that i went ahead to check on the rice and at this point it was ready and guys can you see how stand apart this rice is hmm. so into my work i went in with some vegetable oil ginger garlic paste and then some onion so i went ahead to stir fry this for about four to five minutes then i went in with my vegetables i'm using some carrots some green beans some peas and then some sweet corn and then I had to season this with some salt, chicken seasoning, curry powder, some thyme and then chili pepper and paprika pepper. So I went ahead to stir fry this on high heat for about 3 minutes. I added my veggies at the same time. Reason being that I really love my veggies. Very crunchy and vibrant hence i added in everything at once and trust me if you use this method you are going to love it so after stirring that for about three minutes i went ahead to add in the rice after that i went ahead to combine everything together and please ensure that the heat is on the highest so that the rice and veggies cannot soak up moisture in that way the rice tends to last longer another thing again is after mixing the veggies and the rice keep on stirring this so that the rice can stay fry properly you want to do that for about five to seven minutes or thereabouts on high heat so after that i went in with my leftover chopped onion the chicken that has been fried earlier the shrimp as well the liver and then some spring onion that is just like an extra garnishing anywho so after that i went ahead to combine everything together and guys at this point we just made a very very delicious fried rice i hope you give this one a try and if you enjoyed watching please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and drop your comments i would be so glad to read it and if you're yet to subscribe please please do well to subscribe tap the notification bell so you can get notified whenever i post a new video and if you get to recreate this please don't forget to send me pictures on any of my social media handle i'll be so so glad to see your recreation and guys at this point we've come to the end of this video i hope you learned a thing or two bye